Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I have several handmade journals that I'm sharing with you. I did make the journals off camera. If you're interested in that, I do have other videos where I show how I make the journals. It's just simply chipboard pattern paper and I used my cinch machine, but I did film embellishing each and every one of these. So I'm gonna go through what I did with each of these and I used beautiful Wild Orchid craft products. So be sure to check out the description box for more information on which products I used. This paper collection is by an Etsy seller, Cottage and Lace, and it's called Roses. It's a beautiful collection. And I pulled out some matting for it. The first image is this beautiful rose Again, that's from an Etsy seller as well, and I'll be sure to link that in the description box. For So check the description box if you're looking for any links or information, or over on my blog as well. So I matted that on a really pretty pink piece of paper that matched the collection, and then another piece of white cardstock. And now this black piece is medium weight graphics chipboard. I wanted this piece to have some dimension to it. So I added the chipboard and now I'm adding it to a piece of silver DCWV glitter stack. I believe on all the journals I used a piece of paper or a matte piece from the glitter stack. So you'll see that throughout. To adhere it to my front of my journal, I'm using some Beacon Fabri-Tac. I love using that. It gives you a minute to kind of move it around, but it also adheres rather quickly. So I kind of set that slightly off to the right. I wanted my flowers to go up around the left side of my image. And the first flower that I put down is some layers of a magnolia flower. And to the center of that, I added a pink chrysanthemum. And then I'm also gonna add some off-white chrysanthemums as well. This here is a beautiful English rose from Wild Orchid Crafts and they, they are slightly different colored, so I pulled out a, a more muted one, and it was a little big for what I wanted, so I just pulled off a couple of the layers, and now using my hot glue gun, I'm gonna tuck it in the side there. I love my hot glue gun. I use the Aileen's glue gun. I believe it's called a, a multi-purpose glue gun, but I love it. It holds very well, and it's quick, so I can adhere it down and move on without having to worry about them shifting on me. So here I'm pulling out some wild roses from a mixed red set. And some of them I pulled off a few of the layer pieces. I wanted to just add those and then others I added the full flower to them. And they kind of look slightly coral on camera but they match the perfect, um, excuse me, the paper collection perfectly. So I'm just tucking in a few here and there. Again, just peeling them apart and using some of the layers. And then I'll save those other pieces for another project. I love the smaller one for that filler piece right there. And here are some of the lilies. Lilies, they're so beautiful and they work as perfect filler flowers to kind of tuck in here and there. So I'm using some of the white ones and tucking a few in. I wanted one more flower up at that top piece to cover that corner there. Here I pulled out some Prima molds that I've previously made and I just keep them in a, a bin there. And I used, those are paper clay. I used the Prima molds and um, some paper clay. And I chose the roses or the flowers. So I'm adding three of them there. I love the texture that that gives my journal mixed in with the mulberry flowers. And now I'm also adding a few of the flat back silver glitter balls from Wild Orchid Crafts. I wanted it to tie in with that silver glitter paper. So I'm just gonna tuck a few of those and again use my hot glue gun to adhere them down. I also pull out my heat gun here in a minute and go over all the flowers there. It just kinda gets rid of any of the hot glue strings that are sticking around. It just makes them dissipate. And here I'm adding the Wild Orchid Craft Pearls to the center of those flowers. I love making these journals. They, are, they come together so quickly and they make 
really great gifts. And they're very durable. The flowers are really durable. So the next one here, I'm using Echo Park's Wedding Bliss collection. And it's a wedding collection, but as you can see, I just used some papers from it. So you would never know that it's strictly a wedding collection. You can use it in other projects as well. I cut a few scallop pieces. I cut a piece from the same paper collection. And then I also cut a white cardstock piece. So I'm going to adhere that down. Again, that little postcard image is from the same Etsy seller, which will be linked in the description box. I believe it's nostalgic graphic kind. I'm adhering that on a piece of white cardstock. I wanted it to stand off a little bit from the gold glitter paper. And behind this piece, before adhering it to the rectangle scallop piece, I'm adding a piece of, of chipboard again. And I'm going to give you a close-up of the dimension that it gives. I was really happy with that. I do start to adhere that down, but when I looked again at it closely, I, I wanted it to stand off the page a little bit more so I went ahead and cut out a piece of the same gold glitter paper that I used as a mat and I just cut the center of that out so I didn't waste any of that. Here I'm just pulling out a scrap piece of paper and adhering that down. I didn't want any of that glue to get on my mat so I'm really pressing that down and now I'll adhere that to the front and I was really happy with how that turned out. I'm sorry, I also, I forgot that I added another piece of chipboard to it. And then I'm just going to add that to the center of my journal. I'm not sure if I mentioned the size that the size of my journals are approximately nine by seven. And like I did mention, they are very sturdy. I, I made one for myself and I kept it in a bag and it really held up well. I used the entire journal um, and it really held up well. So they, they're a lot more uh, durable than, than you would think flowers would be. So I'm tucking a few of the magnolias and then also some of the wild roses I wanted a few more flowers on the bottom left than the top right. So I'm just gonna add a few up at, up at the top right. And then I'm adding these beautiful rose color flowers. It matched the collection perfectly. So I'm just gonna tuck in a few of those here and there. A lot of times I just kind of set out my flowers to see if I'm happy with them and once I'm happy with them then I will adhere them down. Here's another resin piece or excuse me it's not resin it's a paper clay piece from one of the Prima molds. I used my Fabri-Tac and a little bit of hot glue to adhere that down and now I'm using some Nouveau glossy white crystal drops. I squeezed it out on a scrap piece of paper first just to make sure there were no air bubbles in it. And I'm adding quite a few. Here's a close-up of it. I absolutely love those. That's my second bottle of white. So if you're looking for just one color to get, I would suggest white because it goes with so many different things. So this next journal I absolutely love. Again, another Etsy seller, Charm Paperteria, I believe it's called. Shabby Chic. And beautiful imagery on it. I use some spiral white binding from, I believe we are Memory Keepers. And again, some more of that glitter cardstock from DCWV. I cut out a heart and I, again, cut out the center like I did that, that last journal. That way I didn't waste as much of the glitter paper. And I, I'll spare you watching me glue each layer down. I think I did about six layers of this white cardstock, giving it some dimension. So I went ahead and glued all those down. And then back to the very last piece, I made it a little bit smaller to give myself a white mat of the heart. And I used a beautiful sentiment on the front that I got from Silhouette America. 
and I believe um, it says be your own kind of beautiful the beautiful I colored in with that saint with one of the pink colors in the flowers from the, the paper collection so again like I mentioned before I just kind of set the flowers down to see what I like once I'm happy with them then I'll adhere them down and then a lot of times I'll go back in and add a few more flowers here and there but I like to get my main pieces down first so I'll just kind of play with them till I think I'm happy with them and then start adhering them down I will have lots more photos at the end of this video as well as over on my blog so hopefully you can see a little bit more of the detail in the in the photos at the end Now I'm pulling out these beautiful corner resin pieces and this one has an angel in it. These are from Wild Orchid Crafts and just kind of moving that around deciding where I wanted it to go and it sat up on that cluster of flowers on the left side so perfectly. So again using some Fabri-Tac and a little bit of hot glue that will adhere it down Im immediately while I'm waiting for the Fabri-Tac to dry. And then I pulled out several colors of pinks and white hip rosebuds. The rosebuds, they have so many different ones to choose from. I love um, tucking those around here and there. So I pulled out a couple of the different pinks, the lighter pink, a little bit darker pink, and then a few of the white ones, and I'm adhering those in both different clusters. and finishing it off with some Nouveau Crystal Drops again. Here I'll give you a close-up in just a moment. This next journal is a beautiful collection from Adrian Lumen. It's called Beautiful Chic. Again, just showing you the inside notebook papers. And I will have these journals for sale in my Etsy shop, so check out the description box. I'll leave a link for that. Here I cut out a pink front that I a scrap piece of paper that I have in my collection, and it, it matched the collection perfectly. Added one of those beautiful images to the top. And then I'm, I cut out some scallops from some black glitter paper as well. And originally I was going to put the scallops down both the left and the right side, but I decided I wanted my flowers to go in that area so you wouldn't have seen the scallops anyway so that's why I went ahead and added it to the top of it and I'm just cutting off some chipboard to add to the back of it again giving it some dimension and I believe I do two layers on this focal piece here and now I'll add my image to the top of the glitter paper I didn't like how that top right corner of where the scallops were so I added one more scallop to the top there and I'm just going to use my tweezers and put some glue on it and just kind of tuck it up in there to adhere it down and then I was really happy with that. Again the left and the bottom side I'm not worried about because I'll be adding my flowers there. So I pulled out some of the pink magnolias and then again some of the chrysanthemums in both off-white and pink. Kind of scattered them around and now I'm just slowly going to adhere them down and then I'll pull out a few more flowers as well after I'm happy with how this looks.
I pulled out probably, which I know you probably hear me say this a lot, but probably my favorite flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. And these are the white with pink center wild roses. And I'm tucking a few of those around. This one, I needed it to be a little bit smaller, so I just pulled off some of the layers of it and made it a, a tiny bit smaller. And now I'm adding a few of the cream-colored cabochon flowers, again, from Wild Orchid Crafts. I love the texture that it gave. And they just kind of fit in so nicely without standing out too much. And then adding a few of the flat back glitter balls tying in that silver glitter paper again. I ripped off one of the cabochon flowers because I wanted a, a um, glitter ball to go there. So I just carefully peeled it back up, removed the hot glue that was under it, and then just tucked that back in in a slightly different spot and I was really happy with how that turned out. I just wanted to add a couple of the flowers to the top right there so I used the chrysanthemums and again the wild roses with the pink center. One of them I made a little bit smaller by pulling off a few of the layers again. And I don't always show it, but on all of the journals, I do take my heat gun to it to get rid of any of the glue strings like I had mentioned. And lastly, I'm adding some more of the white Crystal Nouveau drops. Here's a little bit closer look. I'll set that aside to dry. This next journal, I kept the cover simple because of this big uh, flower image on it. And I used Karina Gar Gardner garden rose collection. This ornate frame, it's a beautiful frame I cut from my Silhouette Cameo and again off camera I glued several layers of that to give it dimension and I used a beautiful pink in the collection and a beautiful sentiment again that I purchased from the online Silhouette America store. It says, a dream is a wish that your heart makes, I believe. And I, I wanted it to stand out a little bit more from that background paper, so I did cut out another piece of the gold glitter cardstock. Again, cutting out the center just to save on some of the paper. So there's about probably six layers there in the end. And I added some of the apple blossoms to the bottom left and the top right. Again, just trying to keep it simple since there was those that large image on the front. To finish this off, I did add some more of the Nouveau Crystal Drops and I went around the entire frame to make it look like pearls. They're self-leveling, so they, they level out to a perfect round dot, just like enamel dots, and you can make them in any size that you want. So this last one is by Echo Park Victoria Gardens, and I did several layers. I wanted it to take up a big portion of the front of the album, so I'm using two mattings of the silver glitter paper. Again, you'll see the cuts in the middle just to save on some of the paper so I can use it for another project. And then another beautiful sentiment from the online silhouette store. I buy most of my sentiments that way and you can color them in before you print them out on any color. So I used a gray, that way it was more of a muted color and it went beautifully with the collection. Adding some chipboard in the middle there so that would stand out from my matting piece. And it says there is always something to be thankful for. So I have two matting pieces of the silver, adding my fabric tack to it and adhering that to the front of my journal.
In this one I already pulled out some flowers that I thought were going to go well and again I'm using some magnolias and in, in this one I'm using some of the yellow chrysanthemums. Really pretty pastel color. And then my favorite uh, wild rose with the pink center. I adhered those chrysanthemums on the right. I didn't want them all the way up in the top right of the the journal frame, so I, I brought them down slightly. And now I'm just tucking in a few sweetheart blossoms here and there. I'm adding some more of the silver glitter balls, tying in that same glitter paper. And finishing it off with more of the Crystal Nouveau drops. Here's a look again, once again, at all the journals that I've done, except that last one because the crystal drops were still wet. I wanted to set that aside. So I hope you had fun today and are inspired to make a handmade journal for yourself. Thanks so much for stopping by and check out the description box. Stop by Wild Orchid Crafts and check out all their amazing products. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.